Hey guys, it's Sandra here with a video today that compares three popular cutting compounds, namely Sonex Cut Max, 3D ACA, and Griot's Fast Correction Cream. Both Sonex and Griot's aren't brands that are sold here locally, and the new 3D ACA Ultra Cut is yet to be released here. But as some of you may know, I was able to get some samples of these compounds while I was in the States attending the SEMA convention. Now I can't even begin to guess how many times I've been asked to compare or to try Sonex Cut Max and Griot's Fast Correction Cream. So I'm finally happy to be able to do this video that is really more for you guys as even if I love these two compounds, there's no place for me to buy them locally. So in this video, you'll see me put these three cutting compounds through their paces in a variety of tests that are based around looking at their cutting and finishing abilities as well as the user experience and overall performance in a wide range of applications from harder to softer paints, larger to smaller polishing machines with both dual action and rotary motions on foam, wool and microfiber pads. You'll also see me using a prototype compound throughout the testing that I'm really familiar with as it's important for me to have a control product as a benchmark to compare these compounds to what I currently or normally use. So on to the first test that was working on a hard paint with 2000 grit machine sanding marks and using a large 6 inch cutting foam pads on my 21mm throw DA polisher. Now you'll see as the testing progresses there are several aspects of these compounds I'll be judging that are all based on the user experience looking at things like if the product dusts and to what extent, how easy it is to wipe off, how well it lubricates the pad and promotes smooth machine running, how easy the compound blows out of the pads and how much heat it generates and so on. But in relation to the results in the finish of the paint, there are really two main things I'm looking for, which are its cutting or defect leveling abilities and its finish or the clarity and gloss it's able to achieve. So with all the tests here, I'll be performing four test sections consecutively, noting the user experience and then looking at the cut and finish at the end, comparing all four sections with one another. But I'll mostly be discussing and focusing on the three compounds and just using the prototype compound as a comparison for my own reference. So after completing a set of passes with each compound in this first test section and looking at the user experience, I have to say that Griot's Fast Correction Cream really did edge ahead from Sonex and 3D. Now I really didn't have any dusting from any of the compounds and Sonex Cut Max did seem to provide the best lubrication, but overall in relation to things like the wipe off, blowing the compound out of the pad, minimizing sling and the work time, Fast Correction Cream really did provide the best user experience. When looking at each section and judging the defect removal or cut, it was fairly close between 3D ACA and Griot's Fast Correction Cream, both of which did seem a touch better than Sonex. 
but the largest difference came in the form of the finishing qualities, where Griot's Fast Correction Cream really did noticeably better than the other two compounds, having quite an exceptional finish on this paint with this foam pad and machine combination. One thing that's really important to note here about properly testing a compound for a manufacturer or even for yourself is that you can't be too quick to judge and you should never base your findings on one or two results or even on one or two days of using it. You have to consider all the variables at play that can most certainly impact the results you're achieving and you'll see that as I progress. So on to the second test which was working on the same hard paint but this time putting in some more aggressive 1500 grit sanding marks and also purposely being more aggressive and inconsistent with the hand sanding approach and technique. I stayed with the Ripper's 6 inch 21mm throw polisher, but this time switched to using microfiber cutting pads. Now being that the sanding scratches were so aggressive and deep due to the sanding technique, I really needed to do a second pass in each section with all of the compounds to really get a better idea how each of them was performing in this test. So starting again with the actual user experience provided, Griot's Fast Correction Cream was once again the winner here, with the easiest wipe off, next to no dusting, good lubrication and a decent residue blowout from the pad. It was also the case once again when looking at the quality and clarity of the finish, with Fast Correction Cream really being at least one or two steps ahead of both Sonex and 3D compounds. However, when looking at which compound was able to remove the most defects on this badly damaged harder paint, 3D ACA was the clear winner here, with Sonex a couple of steps behind and Griot's a couple more steps behind again. In a third test on the same panel, I switched to my mini DA polisher with 3 inch wool pads and even switched my technique a little to use shorter working times on a smaller section to see how each of these compounds and their abrasives would work in these set of circumstances.
Now, apart from a couple of categories in the user experience, where both Sonic's Cut Max and 3D ACA did a touch better, Griot's Fast Correction Cream really did excel in providing the best overall product experience across the board. And it also had, for a third time in a row, the best finish in relation to gloss and clarity. However, in this particular test, with the wall pads and shorter work times, Sonic's Cut Max clearly showed the best defect removal, followed by 3D ACA and then Griot's Fast Correction Cream. So what this may suggest is that the abrasives or cutting qualities in Sonic's Cut Max work a little faster, whereas the abrasives in 3D ACA will benefit further from an extra pass or two and a slightly longer working time. It also suggests that Griot's Fast Correction Cream can still finish down very well with a shorter work time, whereas Sonex may need a little more time to refine the finish in the paint. For a fourth test, I used the same 3-inch mini polisher, but switched to the Ripper's yellow finishing wall pads. This time, working on a softer paint that was extremely damaged and scratched, with some of the defects beyond paint correction. As always, the goal was here to see which of these three compounds would provide the best cutting and finishing abilities in this situation, along with the best user experience. So as far as user experience goes, it was once again a one-horse race, with Griot's Fast Correction Cream clearly providing the easiest wipe-off, lower dusting, no sling, and so on. So by this stage, using these compounds with various pads and machines over a few days, it started to become quite evident that Fast Correction Cream was really leagues ahead of the other two when it came to the best and easiest user experience. Apart from that, I was really surprised at the quality of finish across the board that I was able to achieve with this softer paint, which really was largely due to the yellow Ripper's wool pads that some of you may know that I absolutely love. But in relation to the best finish, it really was once again Griot's Fast Correction Cream, but in this case, it was closely followed by 3D ACA, though Sonic's Cut Max was definitely a few steps behind, with lots of micro marring in the finish, that the other two compounds just didn't suffer from. Although none of the compounds were able to remove all of the severe defects on this trashed paint, 3D ACA did remove a little more than the other two, followed by Sonex and then Griot's. For a fifth test, I tried a few combinations on this Audi SQ5, starting with my Mini DA Polisher and the Lake Country Low Lit Wall Pads, and working on what turned out to be a mid to hard paint with only mild to moderate defects. Now after completing a section with each of the compounds using these wall pads, the defect removal was almost 100% perfect in all four sections. So in relation to cut, every one of these compounds was basically able to remove all of the defects with ease. However, when we have a look at the level of quality of finish, it's a very different story. Both 3D and Sonex have large amounts of haze and cloudiness in the finish, whereas the finish with Griot's although not perfect, still has remarkable gloss and clarity. So in other words, it's just going to be difficult to use 3D or Sonex for a single stage correction process, whereas Griot's, with its excellent finishing abilities, can certainly finish well even when using a somewhat aggressive wall pad.
On the other side of the bonnet, I performed the same test sections, but this time switching to the less aggressive Rubez yellow wall pad that does have better finishing abilities to see how this would alter the compound's cut and finish on this paint type. With this combination, I was still able to remove at least 95% of the defects in all sections. So once again, the cut or defect removal was quite exceptional. And just as I'd guessed, the quality of finish compared to using the more aggressive Lake Country wall pads in the last section was also greatly improved with a much better level of finish across the board. But although there was definitely less haze with both 3D ACA and Sonex Cut Max compared to the last test section, the gloss and clarity with Griot's Fast Correction Cream was pretty much perfect here and well ahead of the other two compounds. For a last test section on the Audi Blue Metallic Paint, I switched to my larger 6 inch 21mm throw DA using the Lake Country HDO microfiber pads. From a user-friendly perspective, the Griot's Garage compound was yet again far more pleasant to use. But as an overall experience, I found that all these compounds, apart from the Prototype 1, really didn't work nearly as well with microfiber as they did with both wool and foam pads. It was just harder to blow out the residue with all three compounds, and also harder to wipe off the compound from the paint with increased heat when used on microfiber. And although the cut was still quite good across the board, the finish was definitely a step down compared to the last section. But this could also be due to the larger polishing pads and the larger orbital throw of the machine. For a final test, working on another hard to medium paint, I used the 1200 grit sanding disc to level the paint and defects before using a rotary polisher with a 6 inch wool pad to see how the compounds would perform under these circumstances with this combination. Now from a user friendly perspective, this was perhaps the first time that Griot's fast correction cream really didn't excel. Now, it wasn't exactly bad or worse than the other two compounds, but really no better for the first time. In relation to cut, the clear winner was 3D ACA that easily cleaned up all those 1500 grit sanding marks with ease. Sonex Cut Max was actually a close second here, while Griot's Fast Correction Cream came in third, but was just a step behind. The finishing results were actually the complete opposite here, with Griot's Fast Correction Cream coming in first with the least amount of haze and holograms in the finish, Sonex Cut Max in second place, whilst the section with 3D ACA was a massive psychedelic display of thick long holograms galore. To see if I could clean up those holograms and haze in the finish, using the same compounds but with a softer finishing foam pad. Still using the rotary polisher, I tried a second stage. Now, as anyone who uses a rotary knows, it's virtually impossible to single stage paint with a rotary. But if you can finish your first stage relatively well, you should be able to clean up those holograms and haze with just a very quick second stage. However, if the first stage is just too overly aggressive on the paint, that usually means you need two or more stages to finish down. Now ideally you would use a finer polish for that second stage, but as I'm trying to judge the finishing qualities of these three compounds, also using a rotary, I proceeded to use these compounds for that second stage. 
Now as you'll see shortly, I was able to improve the finish with this second step, but I wasn't able to remove the holograms entirely, meaning that after an aggressive compounding with a rotary on this paint type, a quick light finishing stage isn't going to remove the compounding haze and holograms, and it also means that in this particular case, these compounds may not have the ability to finish down flawlessly, at least with using this particular combination of machine and pads. Though I'm sure that with a few variations in both technique and pads, it can be achieved. So after a bunch of diverse tests over several days, what were my conclusions? Well, I can see straight away why a compound like Griot's Garage Fast Correction Cream would be a popular choice especially for enthusiasts looking for a great user-friendly experience mixed in with great finishing qualities especially when working with foam pads. But it was also fairly clear to see that it just didn't cut quite as much as the other two compounds. Sonix Cut Max, if I'm completely honest, really didn't blow me away with its user experience or finishing qualities, though its cut was actually pretty decent. And it really did seem to be the middle runner here in many of the tests, not being the best or worst in most cases, but a fairly consistent and reliable compound. 3D ACA really stood out here in one area, which was obviously its leveling ability as it really did consistently outcut the other two compounds. But apart from actually not dusting all that much, which is great, its overall user experience wasn't anything great, nor was its finishing ability. Which really means that it'll never be a single stage compound, and it'll always require that follow up stage, which I'm also guessing is exactly how it was meant to be used. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.